Hi there, my name is Ian Buckley and you're watching MakeUseOf.com. In this video we're going to cover how to safely disassemble a microwave oven in order to take the components from inside. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, a microwave oven has many components in it that are hard to find elsewhere. It also has some components in it that are just useful things to have for your home hobby electronics. Now, taking apart a microwave oven is not without its risks. Like any piece of high voltage equipment, it does operate at a voltage that is high enough to kill you. So never touch it when it is plugged in is the first rule. It's also important to know that with a microwave oven, there is a high voltage capacitor in there that even when the microwave is no longer plugged in, can give you a nasty shock. In this video, we will cover how to discharge a capacitor safely, but it's something that you should know before you start poking around inside any piece of high voltage equipment. The third important point here is that microwaves use a magnetron in order to blast the food and cook it. Now, uh, magnetrons, when they're unplugged, they can't give you any radiation poisoning or anything, but the ceramic insulators on the side of the magnetron can contain beryllium oxide. Now, if any of that gets into the air and gets into your lungs, that is incredibly bad for you. So where possible, don't even take the magnetron out at all. Just leave it in there. Um, you might need to to get at the other parts. And again, if you do, please do that carefully. You probably won't need many tools in order to actually take the microwave apart. Uh, I got by with just one set of safety gloves uh, that were insulated and also a screwdriver and a pair of pliers, both of which had insulated handles. That's very important. To begin, make sure the microwave is removed from the mains. It is not plugged in at all. Then start removing screws from the outer casing. You might find that you can remove just a few screws from the bottom and it will allow you to lift the whole top of the casing off, which will give you enough access to salvage the parts without having to take it apart completely. Once you have it open, the first job to do is to discharge that capacitor. Now, if you can do it without taking it out of the case, do. Uh, I couldn't in this instance, it was part of the fan assembly, so it had to be removed first. To discharge a capacitor, you need to take either the screwdriver or the pair of pliers in your hand while using your safety gloves and make sure that the metal from the screwdriver or the pliers touches both contacts of the capacitor at the same time. This discharges any power that was left in it. Now you might hear a pop, you might see a little flash, so be ready for that. And it's worth holding the metal onto the contacts for just a little while to be absolutely sure that it is discharged. With that done, you can start removing all of the other components from the microwave. Now, as I mentioned before, if you can leave the magnetron in, I would. In this case, I had to remove it in order to get to the transformer. In most microwaves, the transformer will be on the bottom of the unit because it's very heavy. Unscrew the screws and carefully lift it out. You really don't want to drop this thing on your foot. It's heavy. From here, it should be simply a case of just piece by piece, unscrewing everything and taking it out. Uh, if you look up your model of microwave online, you may find that there's a circuit diagram, which is also a very handy thing to have so you can see how it all worked together. And so you know the power ratings all the components will use. It was quite lucky in this case that there was actually a circuit diagram on the back of the microwave. When you finish taking everything out, you'll have quite an array of parts at your disposal, including switches, relays and motors, and other components like resistors, diodes and inductors, all of which can be used in your home DIY electronics or microcontroller projects. But the microwave oven transformer is the biggest catch here. They're quite expensive to buy and can provide an enormous amount of power for projects from Tesla coils and Jacob ladders to metal melting foundries and DIY welding setups. Now there are examples for different kinds of projects using a variety of scavenge microwave parts in the article on the Make Use Of website. You can find it in the description below. As I said at the very start of this video, please take care while working with high voltage appliances and always put your own safety first. Have fun out there and don't forget to subscribe for more weekly tech tips and giveaways.